little bit longer after a couple of lightning strikes in Ann Arbor. During the pregame, the players, the fans ushered out of Michigan Stadium, and boy, the rains did come down. About a 60-minute delay before they ushered the players and the fans, who quickly, I might add, entered Michigan Stadium. About a 25-minute warm-up, and here we are. Football on the Big Ten Network is presented by Hampton by Hilton. The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in to take on the Michigan Wolverines and a little bit of history, the latest kick in Michigan football history. Between Yellen and Shager, you see his numbers. Two games that the Rainbow Warriors have played coming into tonight. Hand off to the running back, Dietrich Parson, who is stopped by this Michigan defense. And again to Parson. One against Colorado State. And they bring the numbers. Pocket closing. Hit hard from behind. And the ball rolls out of play. Jalen Harrell, the first to get to him. And providing the pressure on third down. In spot duty. In fact, his numbers last week against Colorado State reflect really his short career here at Michigan. Just spot duty here for the Wolverines. But getting an every, everyday snap in a first start is a way different mentality as we all know. First play from scrimmage. Big run from Coram. Blake Coram breaks one and crosses the 45. And into Hawaii territory. It's a first down. Lag on the play. Offense. See if they can keep it going. The perfect pulls. He's going deep. The catch is made. The Honolulu native takes a bow. Roman Wilson for the touchdown. Just like that, 7 nothing Michigan. I'll tell you what, this crowd was waiting. They were ready to erupt, and J.J. gives them exactly what they're looking for. Why not go to the Hawaiian native? Roman Wilson right down the pipe. That's an easy throw, and the Michigan fans are loving to see that one. Yelling at quarterback, gave Parson a heavy dose of carries on that first drive, but just like that first drive, Parson not going anywhere. Negative yardage. Yelling with time to throw that time, but it's up and over the outstretched arms of Jalen Walthall, and he is going to feel that pressure all night long. They bring four. Short pass. Again, going nowhere. Complete to Jordan Murray, the tight end, who they'd like to use a little bit here tonight. But again, R.J. Moten providing the push. Yeah, mom's actually from St. Ignatius here in, the, in Michigan. Dad's from Kalamazoo. Tip and toe on the sideline there. Blake Horn gets another touch. Pickup of two on that. Corum run. Now back to throw. And finding Ronnie Bell for a big game. Splits the defenders across the 40. A huge first down for the Wolverines. It's a total of 73 yards already here in the air. We know he's got a big arm. We know he can run it. And certainly showcasing some of that as he drops it over to one of his tight ends. Eric All makes his way over to the near sideline. Corm is still your back. They give it to him. He's got a straightaway run. Hesitation makes his way into the red zone. And about at the 11-yard line. Motion by Bell. Corm shutting off some tackles. 
clears and is brought down at the three yard line, right at the sticks. McCarthy directing. Trying to push his way through to the goal line and just short. Formation this time here for Michigan. Goal line offense on first and goal. The handoff up and over and Corum is in for a Michigan touchdown. Blake Corum gets a chance to lead the dynamic duo in the Michigan backfield. Jake Moody with the extra point. Seven plays, 77 yards, 335 in time. JJ's gone in the air. Michigan has also gone in the ground. They're up 14 nothing. Yellen, will sidearm pass, and that pass is broken up that time by Jamon Green and exactly what you've been talking about, Jake Butt. Where it left off in week one against Colorado State. Second and 10. And Hawaii having no luck on the ground that time. Push back Bryant Lillet. From the shotgun, Yellen gets rid of it. And no play is made well out of the reach of his intended receiver. An errant throw and giving his receiver no chance. And R.J. Moten coming there on the right side as well. Another putt here for Hawaii. Missing a tackler. Henning trying to make it go. A.J. Henning across the 50. And a huge return for one of the Big Ten's best returns. And starting this drive in Hawaii territory, rolling out that time, connecting with his tight end, Schoonmaker. Pick up a six. They've scored on 10 of their 12 possessions here this year. This Michigan offense has Donovan Edwards. There he goes. And there goes J.J. McCarthy. Edwards was the running back. McCarthy showing off his wheels a little bit. The defenses have to account for. His first carry for 16 yards. And first and 10 from the 20. Reverse play. Here's Wilson again. Wilson will take it in. He's got his second score. Roman Wilson from 21 out. A big start for Big Blue. Moody is perfect and extra points. How about three plays? 43 yards, 121 at time. McCarthy loves it. Ten. Michigan beginning the last two series inside its own 10. And a handoff there to Corum, who has picked up one of the touchdowns. They have done some nice things here early in the game, that tackle being a nice one. On second and eight. McCarthy. Again, he has been so successful in the air and goes right back to Bell. I like that call, and Bell hangs on. Start the drive. Already over 100 passing yards here from McCarthy, who gives it right back to Corum. Utmost confidence in his health, and so far looking pretty good. Second and ten. They got him again. McCarthy keeps it deep downfield. Bell grabs it. Cornelius Johnson with the big pass connection. Michigan for a big play. A gain of 54. How about ringing the bell with I'll Cornelius what, Johnson? Here comes Ronnie across the field, and Cornelius Johnson, that safety plays Ronnie, so Cornelius Johnson gets behind the defense, and there you get to see the big, accurate arm of J.J. McCarthy doing it downfield, hitting Cornelius Johnson. And a big play to set up this Michigan offense now inside the 15 with a chance to score. Fakes it to Edwards. A line shot for six. Ronnie Bell with his first touchdown of 2022. Now, 
This is just a timing route. Ronnie Bell on the post. JJ's going to show a quick play action, and then right as he breaks, he's going to deliver a strike right on Ronnie Bell's helmet. Moody, still perfect for extra points. JJ McCarthy showing off the fastball. Look at this one. Whips it in there, puts it on his face mask. And Ronnie Bell finishes the drive. Pass, let's not forget, that was a dropped exactly. pass that should have been caught. Trying to chase that edge and count them. Three Michigan defenders hawking. Harold, again the first. Yep. It was expected to be a lopsided affair here in Ann Arbor, and it's turning out to be exactly that. Yell in the starting quarterback. Out to the right side, a hard hit. And a heat-seeking missile named DJ Turner got all over that. Pocket collapsing on the edges, and down goes Yellen. Mike Morris with the sack. <laughs> Fleeting the FBS, as you saw there. Stud. And he continues to build on it. It's Edwards, who's got a crease, and over to the 40, pushed out at the 30-yard line and the near sideline. We know he can catch passes. We know he's a matchup night where he's got a linebacker he on him. A tough receiver at the bottom of your screen. They're going to go to him. He airs it out to Edwards, who rises up just short of the goal line. Pick up of 33. Nice call, Jake. I'll tell you what, Lisa, this is what you want. Football's a game of matchups. If you're going to put a linebacker on Donovan Edwards, Sharon Moore and Matt Weiss are going to go to that all day. J.J. McCarthy once again accurate, dropping the egg in the basket. They feed Edwards, hunting for the goal line. It's a Michigan touchdown. And let him finish the drive. Why not? You break a run, you catch a pass. We'll give you the touchdown, Donovan Edwards. We love our touchdowns, but we love a beautiful pitch and catch. Look at this one. Not too many running backs in the country can do that so, so naturally. Edwards, a minute and 11 seconds. All Donovan Edwards, by the way, just a sophomore. Just a sophomore. But these guys across the D-line have experience, and now it's their chance to be a starter and put their mark in Michigan history. Smothered, it's Upshaw, the first to get to it. Taylor Upshaw. On second and ten, Parson heads back the other way. Jesse Minter. Showing multiple looks. Brings up third and eight. Sends it over to Parson. And a gain of about two on that play. Well short of the first down. See every single play, he has been keeping close tabs on the quarterback situation in this game. You see McNamara's numbers last week against Colorado State. And his first appearance, that was scripted. We knew we would see him at some point here tonight. McNamara on his first snap is back to throw and again finds a Ronnie Bell trying to chase down those sticks and brought down at the 40-yard line. That's why Cade was elected captain as well. He is a leader of this team. Just one to go here from Michigan. Corum gets the handoff and the first down and a little bit more tripped up across midfield. He'll be spotted. 40-yard runs. So far so good for Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards. That was considerable. He's flirting with 100 yards maybe in the first half. He got rid of it in a hard hit. One of the better defenders. Who wouldn't? He brought up the Alabama situation when they won the national championship. They had Jalen Hurts. They had Tua Tagovailoa. They had two good quarterbacks there in San Francisco. McCarthy, we've already seen it today. He provides that extra running element to your offense. McNamara back to pass and absolutely smothered that time. In the backfield to Ala. Speaking of that start, yeah, speaking of that starting quarterback, McCarthy's back in. He hands off to Stokes. Stokes breaks one down the left side. Over to the 31-yard line. 
pickup of 22 for the first down. Stokes again, this time to the right side. Looking for some blockers. Gets across the 25-yard line. the lead in this third running back spot. A track guy. He's got speed. He's got physicality. He's got everything you want. Again to Bell. In game and is marching him right down the field. McCarthy to throw in the end zone. Darius Cornelius Johnson. 17 yards to Painter. This is just, he's just playing such a good game. Stepping up in the pocket and delivering a strike into the end zone to Cornelius Johnson. That's an off-tempo throw that really wasn't an out route. Cornelius Johnson felt his quarterback step up. Well, he's thrown seven straight passes, by the way. Johnson picks up the touchdown on the money pass from his QB. That's exactly what they did. Coach Harbaugh even hopped in to stand on the groom's side. I asked if there was a reception following, to which the DC said, the reception is the season. Of course, Lisa and Jake. Want to shut out. They expect championship level. Let's see how these guys perform. Third and four. Parson takes the handoff, and Hawaii is moving down the field and picks up another first down. Tested on this drive. Yelling to throw. And this Hawaii offense has looked impressive. James Phillips, back-to-back -back pass completions for Yellen. Again back to throw. It's off the hands that time of Phillips. On the coverage, Caden Kolasar. Let's see if they test him. To me, that's a very encouraging sign of the mindset of the talented five-star freshman, Will Johnson. Third and six on the best drive of the night for Hawaii. Looking for the back of the end zone. It's incomplete and brings up fourth down. Okay, so that's a play. Yeah, it's not as easy, but we want you to come down with it, Jordan. Simply for 26 yards, and the shutout is gone. 42 to three. It's a content-driven world. <laughs> That's right. And you're coming in hot. McNamara dropping back and picked off. Verdell Edwards the second with the INT for Hawaii. You never have a problem giving your guy a shot in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Obviously, left that one far too much inside. Yeah, you know, you can just feel the frustration. Yellen hands off Jordan Johnson with his first take. It's a big one and a big hit at the end of that run. Picks up the first down, Will Johnson. Showing you a little bit of what he can do. Yeah, well, not after a big run. I mean, Jordan Johnson, that was a clean, clean break here on the jet sweep. I mean, this is 12 years down the 12 yards down the field, but I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> that is a uh, that's an explosive tackle there. You see it down there, the five-star recruit, highly, highly touted defensive back, known for his coverage skills. That's why they brought him in. But that time, a nice physical tackle. Yellen tries to float it up, and again overshoots his receiver. A player from Hawaii who walked off the, the field before we took that timeout. Oh, nearly intercepted. Will Johnson almost got a pace. And he had some uh, turf to work with if he could snag that one. Who's number one, Lisa? Amarian Walker. Amarian two. Walker. We're in the number one. To no one on third and ten there for Hawaii to someone, but Will Johnson was in coverage once again, so he's being tested today. That time, again, on him like a glove, but here's number one. Who's that guy? He's got a nameplate on there. Well, he wears number four on offense. Left to play in this third quarter.
And Stokes takes the handoff from our third Michigan quarterback that we'll see is Davis Warren as we check in with Megan McEwen. I'm really excited to watch David War Davis Warren play. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna pick up a first down and a little more. Got tripped up across the, the 25 and Davis Warren, such a good story, a walk on to Michigan, overcame leukemia. Now get some planes on here tonight. Yep, again, it's that read option. One of the staples of this Michigan offense, and this time Davis Warren pulls it and has a nice, nice run down the sideline. You know, you always, that, that first first down is so critical to get your drive started. That time Davis Warren doing it with his feet. A pickup of 11. Stokes with that hesitation. You see some of these young receivers, so I'm looking for them to Take some shots downfield and give their guys a chance to see what they're made of. Warren taking a deep shot. Warren connects. Michigan is off and running. Oh! Max Bredesen with oh. a huge pickup on the pass play. Michigan up big over Hawaii as we start the fourth quarter. And right as the third quarter ended, quarterback Davis Warren threw his first ever career completion for 56 yards. That's a pretty hefty first career completion. And perhaps nobody on the sideline was more excited for him than quarterback J.J. McCarthy. He was jumping on the sidelines, high-fiving everybody as they got off the field. Jay Stokes cuts it back for another Michigan touchdown. running back C.J. Stokes. He's got a track background. Yeah, he's got the speed, but he runs with the physicality and a violence. It's that blend of speed and power. I'm really excited to see what Timmy Chang does with this program in the coming years. On third and ten. Yellow is brought down big time. A sack for Michigan and Ray Sean Penny tracking him down. Flips to Michigan on signing day. Another guy, Jim Harbaugh, and the staff are really, really excited about to get going in his early career. Big hole and a big gainer here for Hawaii. Here it goes, Tylen Hines in for the touchdown. What a run. 55 yards. Hundred miles out here, 4,500 miles back. A long way coming. A lot went into that touchdown, and they're certainly happy about it. And welcome in the audience who is watching the Indiana football game here at the Big House, a night game, and a big lead here for Michigan over Hawaii. And picking up the first down, Tyler Morris, a freshman. Now we're starting to see kick and pushed it back to about on the nine o'clock hour. Trying to go up the gut. Isaiah Gash controlling this drive nicely here from Michigan on second and three. Gash pushing towards those sticks. Listen, this guy was elected captain by his teammates for a reason, right? Gash has some room right up the cut, headed for the end zone. Touchdown! With a gash through the Hawaiian defense. Big time run. He gets his chance late here in the fourth quarter. What an opportunity. What an awesome play. What an explosive run. Dolman with the extra point. You brought up the captain. Captain Cade. His reaction to that run. Yeah, he likes it. Go back and watch this film. Hines with the handoff and inside the five yard line. Mm -hmm. 
trying to push to find six. And Mark just short. Three tight ends and a fullback for Hawaii. And they give it to Bryant Lille. Oh, it wow. like a quick shot. Oh. Right, empty formation. So let's see what they go with here. Yellen looking towards his right, and the pass wow. is broken up. A good defensive play for Michigan. Excellent, excellent play by Jaden Hood. Right here, trickling down on the goal line. He sees it's an out. You know, you're sitting here on the goal line. You put your heels on the line. Frustrating. He didn't. Had some pressure in his face. We got sacked a couple times, but... As much as we say that, man, let's talk about Cade's character. Let's talk about what he did for this team last year. Let's talk about the fact he was standing on the sideline rooting his teammate J.J. on all day. He's a captain. He's a leader. Week three, who's the starter? Well, I mean, based on today, it's, it's got to be, be J.J., McCarthy, right? It's right? got to be J.J. And, you know, Cade, you were elected captain. Captain means you have to be a leader even when things may not be easy for you and even when things are a bit challenging, so... I'll tell you one thing, Kate has shown nobody anything other than he's willing to do whatever it takes for this team to win. And he loves his teammates, that's why he's elected captain. So if that decision gets made next week, if it does end up being JJ, I still imagine we see Kate in that game. But, you know, both of these guys will continue to do what they've always done, which is support each other and help each other. Help each other when they come to the sidelines, help each other see what they may be missing because the number one goal is to win.